haven't seen him in a long time. In you fact, can't last, see him still. The last time I saw him was in Singapore and had a chat with him twice. And he's back again, Cyril! Cyril! In case you don't know who Cyril is, it's Cyril Takayama and he is a magician and he's famous and he's on TV and he's got nice eyes and he's got a piercing in his eyebrow. You've been busy! Well, no, I, I've been going kind of crazy playing all these characters last time I was here, yeah. so uh, yeah. I decided to kind of not be a schizophrenic and just, just release them <laughs> from my life. Interesting. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. And you're here because you're going to be doing this. It's a 30 minute series, six part. It's called Cyril. He flies halfway around the world to Brazil. Lucky it's a you. Rio. It's called, <laughs> well, it's not called Cyril. He flies halfway yeah, across the world. It's called <laughs> Cyril Rio <laughs> Magic there you because go. we're Thanks filming in Rio de Janeiro. Yes. So, how is Rio de Janeiro? What's it like? Man, have you ever been to Rio de Janeiro? No. Brazil? No. 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 It is a Brazilian, but not in Brazil. I've had a Brazil. <laughs> Never mind. Let's go on. Let's move along. Well, this season I wanted to bring a little bit of Brazil to my viewers here out in Asia. Okay. okay. And reason being is because, first of all, if you know anything about your geography, Brazil is exactly, or well, almost exactly on the other side of the planet. So yes. if you were to drill a hole all the way through the planet Earth, yeah. you'd probably come out on Eponema Beach. Cool. No huh? way. Or maybe Wearing Copacabana. Wearing I heard a lot about Eponema Beach. Eponema, Eponema Beach. I can't sing a song. Sake. I can't say it. <laughs> and, and with the World Cup yes. uh, coming up in a few weeks, several weeks. Yeah. yeah. Also, the Olympics happening. Mm. Brazil is going to be the topic. And from what I've heard, you you travel and basically you're kind of going, not undercover, but you sort of try to fit in with the locals. You played, you were a barista, you were a repairman, I heard. You just sort of Man, blend it in to see You know what more about do. his life than he I does. I did some freaking studying, bro. <laughs> yeah. I wanted to unmask myself, but yet be masked in disguises to play characters, to be local, like That's a local right. person in Brazil. Right. And bring my magic to unsuspecting people. Go do a people. Brazilian accent then. Go on. How did you fit in? For example, say you're a pretend now that you're being interviewed on a Brazilian radio. Obrigado. 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 Okay. And that's about it. Does everyone speak like Italian? <laughs> Obrigado. Very good. Make a coffee for me. Okay, Obrigado. Cool. <laughs> you know a lot of Brazilian. That's a lot. Obrigado. <laughs> si. Obrigado. Si, Rods. Was it easy working in Brazil? Obrigado. Obrigado. Si, Rod, si. <laughs> That's pretty much my vocabulary there. Um, yeah, actually, you pointed out a good uh, topic to talk about. I, th that was the biggest challenge. I didn't speak a word of Portuguese. Wow. Okay. So I had to learn how to communicate with the locals there okay. and how to engage them without actually speaking. speaking with them. I love this. He has a camera right in front of us. He does. He has a camera with like a little miniature alien like tripod thing. <laughs> I've never had a man stick equipment in my face as much as you're doing right now. Like cameramen usually take cameras out like Matt and stuff, but not like this. Wait, hang on. You had a question. Yes, I do. I mean, magicians always make people disappear or they cut them up and do stuff like that. Your average daily stuff, you know. What about you? If there was anybody you could bring back, who would it be in, in life, in general, in the world? Well, you kind of put me on the spot here. I would have to say that one of the people that I really love yeah. and admire that I never got a chance to see live in my life is probably Jim Morrison. Oh, interesting. Oh, Big music musician, fan. Really. So you're a Japanese mixed American, but also there's Moroccan French heritage in there. Yeah, I'm but a genuine I, mutt. I reckon I could do some tricks on that you've never done before. <laughs> I like that. Go on to tell us. So how, how my 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 roots. Okay, yeah. so my mother was born in Casablanca. Mm. Yes, uh, she's Moroccan French. Mm. Uh, she moved je to. Parle en français. Uh, parle français. Oh, je parle en français. He speaks better French than he does uh, Portuguese. See. Si? Uh -huh. <laughs> Obrigado. Oh. <laughs> And my father is Okinawa in Japanese. I've been there. Oh. You've been to Okinawa? Yeah, so I did karate for eight years. So I said, I'm going to show you some tricks that you've never seen, Cyril. Oh my goodness. When was the last time you saw Okinawa? It was on TV, innit? No, yeah, the, the karate kid, what? He's from Okinawa. Oh god. Is there anything you could do to us in, in any environment, like right now, that would surprise us? Uh, would you do something? Like, I could say things like, Hey guys, follow me on my new online oh my app. 
viral <laughs> online Twitter. Just pull down. Make sure a you banner. follow me. Uh, on, it's not a banner. It's a pop up. I'll pop -up. follow you. Oh, you I see. Follow, it's like a thought. If you yeah. follow me and Rod will follow you, Cyril online <laughs> on Twitter. I want to see something now. Yeah. Did you see something like, right I there? I feel there like you I'm six and I want to see something <laughs> magical. I might have to ask for that, Brendan or producer. Hey, oh, hey, yeah. listen. Money talks. Oh. Oh. Nothing's for free. <laughs> oh my God, Brendan's going to give us the fifty, Cyril. Here Pretty you go. Good. All right, now we're talking. This Woo! is one speed. Now right? we're talking. We got a fifty. <laughs> See, I don't watch this. So no money. No Fold magic. The $50 note in half. Okay, this so is another half. Yeah. Um. So half and half I actually just came from Japan. You know we have an art form in Japan um, called origami. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So what have I done? You just so are we are we explaining this to our viewers? Yep. Yeah. Listening. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So what what have I just done right now? You fold the the note into two halves, three halves. Not. Right. Right. Okay. So this is origami. Okay. Japanese style. Yes. With a fifty ringgit. Ringgit. Yep. Fifty, 50 ringgit between these fingers. Okay. Yes. Just gonna shake it. Yeah. So We're gonna put this on fb.mix.fm. dot mix FM. <laughs> One, two. Oh! Whoa! It became a ring. No way! The fifty. Real ringgit slow. Became a ring. No! <laughs> I love it. Okay. I All right. Even check like this out. Ring. Check this out. You get it. Ring it. <laughs> wow. Ring, ring. And and this is for I you, my friend. I love it. So everyone gets the ring. That's oh. so cool. I'm for On her ring finger. A fifty ring get ring. <laughs> no way! No way! That was magic! 